Today I want to share with you a story. It's the story about my friend Perry who had always dreamt about flying. But for the most part it always stayed as such, just a childhood dream. Then he saw the movie up and he saw David Blaine going into the sky and he realized it could be done. He started asking me for help and finally I agreed. So this is the story of how we use physics and helium to get Perry into the sky in his pursuit of becoming the first ever flying penguin. Did we succeed? Hello everybody, I'm here with Perry. Perry, say, say hi to the internet. He's joining us today because he wants to fulfill his dream. He really wants to fly and being a penguin, mother nature said, no, no. But I think science might have something else to say. So to help Perry, we're going to take a page from David Blaine's book. And instead of using magic, which was Perry's first idea, we're going to use something more powerful and real. We're going to use physics. But before we can safely use physics, we need to talk about three concepts. Gravity, Archimedes principle and density. Let me show you how they work. You probably already know about Archimedes' principle, which says that an object inside of a fluid experiences an upward force equal and opposite to the weight of the fluid they displace. But the question I've always had is, why is the force going up when all that's acting on the system is the gravity pulling the object and the fluid down? So we can think about this in a different way. For example, when helium is inside of air, it is being pulled down by gravity, and if the helium were to move down, it would push the molecules of air up and out of the way. But at the same time, the air is being pulled down by gravity, which means that if the air wants to go down, it has to push the helium up. Which of the two will win the battle depends on the strength of the gravitational force pulling on them. To find the winner, we need to find which one is the heaviest of the two, and since they have the same volume, instead of mass, we can focus on density, which is the third concept we talked at the beginning. In the case of helium, it has a lower mass per unit of volume, which means it has a lower density, and that's why a helium balloon will rise up in the sky. Perry, however, has more mass per unit volume than air, meaning it has a higher density than air, and therefore it will not fly on its own. However, if we attach some helium balloons to Perry, we can make the system be less dense than air and therefore fly. So the summary of all of this is that Perry's dream is possible and it's up to us to make it real. So that's all the theory. Are you still with me? Okay, because we just need to calculate how much helium we need. For that, we just need the density of Perry plus the balloons as a function of the amount of helium we use, also the density of air, or we could use the weight of Perry plus the Okay, you know what? We're gonna use one of our calculators and call it a day. To get to the calculator, simply search for helium balloons on the main site or follow the link in the video description. Once you're there, you will find all the details and all the calculations. But for our video, let's focus on just getting the numbers we need. First of all is the weight of our adventurer. Whoa, seems like that anchovy die is working out for you. And we also need the weight and size of the balloon. The weight, you can see it there, but the size, I'm not entirely sure. So I'm gonna measure it. First, I'll pump the balloons with helium. Just make sure that you don't inhale the helium because then everyone's gonna laugh at you. We tie a knot and we're gonna get the diameter of the balloon. For that, we use another of our calculators. We measure the circumference around the balloon. This can be done by simply wrapping a string around the widest part of the balloon and then comparing it with the measuring tape. The circumference of our balloons was around two meters and therefore the diameter was around 70 centimeters. And seems like we're gonna need only one, but just for symmetry and redundancy, I'm gonna use two on Perry. So let's get him ready. First, we're gonna secure some safety harness for him to avoid him lifting off before we are ready. And then we tie each of the balloons to each of his wings. That would give him proper balance and will mean that he can still enjoy the flight when going up in the air. So we have learned the theory and we've done the calculations. We've also run some safety tests. We are finally ready for the flight. Tomorrow in the morning, we're going outside and we're making his dream come true. Aren't you excited, buddy? And here we are, ready for the flight. It's quite a chill morning today, which is actually Perry's favorite weather. I'm just gonna see if he's ready. A few moments later, so here I have it, our little adventurer ready for his flight. The only thing that's left is just to take off the weights, take off the safety harness and let him fly. This is it, Perry. It's finally your time. 
you are going to fly and make your dreams come true. Now, go make history. And this is exactly the moment I realized we hadn't tested the landing, so we'll have to rely on Perry's skill for that. And that's the story of how it helped Perry fulfill his dream. We got together and we used science to achieve what nature had always denied him. As for him, if I know Perry, he's already looking for new ideas. So if you have any suggestion, leave it in the comments below the like button. And while you're there, subscribe to the channel because we have more videos coming. And I'm sure this is not the last we've seen of Perry. Until then, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.